everybody. In today's video I'm going to talk about the Hierophant. It's a very widely misunderstood card. It's one of those cards that tarot readers sometimes uh, are very critical of because obviously the tarot is a tool of self-development, of conjuring up messages and guidance from the subconscious in order to help the individual thrive and make it in the real world. At least, I think, that's the understanding that many people have. So, the Hierophant is not a very individualistic card. It speaks about the conventional values, traditions, the um, importance of following rules and structures that have been laid out for us by other people. In my understanding, however, the Hierophant often does not only refer to these traditional forms of, uh, you know, these organizations or institutions that can definitely give us some guidance on our way to waking up, but it also, I think, refers to what we value in a spiritual sense. So it's an embodiment. It's a calcified manifestation or expression or representation of what we as individuals value. So when the Hierophant appears in a reading for you and you're not sure what it means, I think a good rule of thumb is to start thinking about what you value. Um, the Hierophant has a strong connection with the zodiac sign of Taurus. And Taurus, although it's an earth sign and it has to do with it has a lot to do with uh, the material world. It's also a sign of internal values. And I think a good idea would be if you have this card appear for you or maybe follow you around in readings, a good idea would be to think about what it is that you value in your life as an individual so much that you would be willing to build an entire structure around it. That you would be willing to create your own little one-person cult to cultivate this value. Now, what I mean by this is that the Hierophant can be a representation of routines, structures, behaviors, and goals in your life that fall in line with your core value system. For example, in my life, uh, what I, I think I value the most is freedom and independence. So whenever I see the Hierophant in a reading that is about me and about what I uh, want to make happen in my life, I think about the Hierophant as um, 
as a way of solidifying these values in my life, building certain dogmatic structures around it in order to preserve it. The Hierophant is conservative. And what the word conservative means is that it is aimed at the preservation, the protection of certain things. So if you think about conservatism in politics, people who uh, call themselves call themselves conservatives in the classical sense, they would uh, they would probably value family, religion, history, and things along those lines. So um, things from the past that they are trying to protect and preserve. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's, I think, it's a function of being a human, a human being, to, to be wired to want to preserve certain things. The question that the Hierophant poses for you is that what you need to examine in your life is those things that are worth protecting. Those things, those internal spiritual values that are worth your effort. And these efforts should have a a direction to create more order, more reliability, more accountability in your life. And so the Hierophant can indicate these efforts and it can be a nudge from the universe for you to start acting in a conservative way around those values. Don't waste them, don't give them up, don't give them away. Instead, try to create some protective rituals, some behaviors, um, some um, systems around these values that will make sure that you can that you can cultivate these uh, these values and that they are not slipping away from you that they are an integral part of your life the hierophant is a very serious card and that's another reason why i think many people um, have a hard time connecting with it and I myself have had my struggles because it's also a card of authority but what the bottom line is here and what I'm trying to the point I'm trying to get across is that this authority does not have to come from an external place um, the tarot represents a macrocosm of human societies and behaviors throughout centuries and centuries of time. And when you use it for your own benefit, you can think of your own life and your own individual existence as a microcosm reflecting and resonating with the same uh, the same sort of laws, psychological, social, and uh, spiritual laws. So you can create a gatekeeper, a hierophant in your own life without necessarily having to adhere to or accept uh, an external um, pressure. 
So the Hierophant is not necessarily this rigid, dogmatic, um, unshakable, stagnant sort of belief system that is forced upon you. It can be a series of protective measures that you put in place for your own sake, your own benefit, within your own life, your own existence. It's your own traditions, your own um, institutionalized uh, will to make sure that the values that you appreciate in life are not being eroded by time and laziness and distractions. So the Hierophant can be good for you if you look at it that way.